which is celebrated on the 20th of June every year. I think the official figure for 2022 is about 108 million. Then if you add the Sudanese and, you know, give and take a few others, you reach 110 million. But I would say this is where we stand today. We have 110 million people that have fled because of conflict, persecution, discrimination, violence, often mixed with other motives, in particular the impact of climate change. Regarding refugees, asylum seekers internally displaced and stateless people that I'm connected with, we'll start with Thomas. You may recall just a couple of years ago, or maybe last year, when we announced that for the first time we had gone over 100 million uh, displaced people, well, already 10% more have been added to this figure. It's quite uh, an indictment on the state of our world, if I may say, to uh, have to report that. Solutions to these movements are increasingly difficult to even imagine, even put on the table. Um, but because of all the things with, you know, we are in a very polarized world where international tensions play out all the way into humanitarian issues. And uh, this is really very, very worrying. But not necessarily in addition to the convention. That's what I think we can achieve at COP28. Yeah. Yeah, it can accommodate the convention has very broad language. Yeah. What is important is to make sure we see increasingly a, um, a reluctance on the part of states to fully adhere to the principles of the convention, even states that have signed it. Not all states have signed it. Um, and this is because these flows of people have become numerous, 110 million, have become complex, many different motives, and uh, public opinions, partly because of some politicians, are now ho often hostile. So it's a challenge. <laughs> But, no, I did not say the pact is perfect. I, sorry, maybe I should have been more clear. There are issues that are of some concern. By and large, however, I think it's a positive step. And you know, we're so happy that the Europeans agree on something which is not too negative in order to move on. This is the most important aspect of it, because that's the only way we can address this issue.